like to hear that one more time. Oh, give me that again. Sleeping in the sun How do you expect to get Your day's work done I never expect to get my day's work done Baba Bay <laughs> I just knocks myself out Laying in the noonday sun <laughs> Lazy bone Sleeping in the shade How you expect you're ever gonna get your cornmeal made? I never want no cornmeal made. You ain't gonna get no fritters, you won't get no cornmeal. I know, <laughs> but I just can get me some good old chitterlings and black eyes. <laughs> 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 don't take them close there. When taters need spraying, good one. I'll bet you keep praying. <laughs> I bet you're praying that the bugs just fall off of the vine. Oh, I boy. Swear. I, said, I swear that's true. <laughs> and when you go fishing... Yes, sir. You been fishing? Yeah, a long, long time ago. How long you was fishing? Five years ago. Get a catfish yeah. in the old Mizzou. <laughs> <laughs> bet you pray the fish don't grab at your line. Tell me the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Lazy boat. Yeah. Loafing through the day. Mm-hmm. I expect you ever gonna make a dime that way. I don't never expect to make a dime that way. All I do is for the people. Come on in your daddy. Come on in your daddy. Come on in your daddy. <laughs> well, he never hear the word I say. Oh! I don't know about you, but I, I'm kind of sorry to see this session come to a close. I want to thank Joe Venuti, Jack Teagarden, and Louis Armstrong for giving us liberal portions of their top talent this evening. Baba Bing, who's with you next week? Next week, Louis, our guest will be Bob Hope. Bob Hope? Ooh, man. <laughs> man. You talking about a real funny man. That cat really breaks me up, man. Satch, I hate to see a long-standing friendship such as yours as mine terminate so abruptly. <laughs> Well, rather than have that happen, I just ain't gonna laugh at him no more, that's all. Yes, you can laugh at Bob if you want to, Louie. Everybody else does. Thanks again for joining up with us tonight. <laughs> See you soon, huh, Sans? Thanks. Good night, Mr. C. Good night, Mr. A. Now I'd like to present a great pal of mine. This is... Well, this is the real Mr. Music. I'm talking about the McCoy. In fact, this boy's 99 and 44, 100% music. He just moves, breathes, thinks, talks, and looks like music. Move right in here. Will you, Satch, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Louis Armstrong. <laughs> well, uh, okay, Daddy. Papa Bing, it's very nice to be here and help you kick off your 20th anniversary celebration. <laughs> well, we wouldn't have had a quorum without you, Louis. That's all I know. Twenty years ago, you were at the Coconut Grove, and I was playing at the Cotton Club out in Capital City. Oh, the Cotton Club out there. Frank Sebastian's Cotton Club. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And you know one thing? What's this? You showed up more nights at the Cotton Club than you did at the Grove. <laughs> well, I had a little problem, Lou. I couldn't spend too much time around the Grove. I was allergic to coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> you was allergic to work, you dog. <laughs> Why don't we dish up a little something for the folks, huh, Louie? What kind of a song can we do in Well, I'd like to beat out a little Blueberry Hill for oh, the folks there. Oh, you just mentioned a beauty. You come up with a beauty. But I don't think I got enough strength to climb up old Blueberry Hill. <laughs> well, then, Daddy, you get right on my back, that's all. You think you can make it with me? I make it. I can make it easy. I'm on wheat jam now, you know. Well, that wheat jam... <laughs> 